My real name is Roman, my nickname is Der Bauer. I'm a uh, overclocker from Germany. And well, my main team is PC Games Hardware because that's, I think, initially where I come from, the place where I started overclocking. So I'm kind of tied to that team, I think, mentally. And yeah. Well, uh, first I did an apprenticeship in uh, mechanical engineering and then I studied mechanical engineering and microengineering. Uh, that's also why I started to produce my own containers, because I had the background how to mill and produce that stuff. And um, also that's, yeah, we learn a lot on how you produce microprocessors, uh, CPUs and all that, so that's why I'm kind of interested in the, uh, in the industry, I think. And also, Due to overclocking, um, I got more and more involved in the industry and uh, in the end uh, I got a job offer from Casking from Germany, uh, which is a well-known distributor in Europe. And yeah, now I'm working almost full-time there and in August I'm going to start full-time uh, at Casking in Germany, Berlin. I think the first time I started overclocking really, it was like 2007. I started before, maybe two or three years earlier, but I wouldn't consider it as real overclocking because actually I had no idea what I'm doing. I was just adjusting some stuff and I was like, okay, maybe just faster and then blue screen and I was like, okay, maybe I stop. So in 2007, I got more and more involved in this. I discovered HWBot, came across benchmarks and ran them for the first time on my system and I was actually really amazed by the graphics of 3D Mark 05 and 3D Mark 06. I really liked it. So um, then in the end I, I got a, a 3D mic result and I thought, yeah, this is actually quite nice and submitted to HLBBot and then I was like, okay, that's actually not what I expected. I thought, okay, my system should, should be faster. So um, I started reading some overclocking guides on how to push your CPU further and all that, um, changed from air to water cooling to be able to clock a little bit higher and yeah, that's, that's when I initially started uh, normal overclocking. I think the, for, for me the highlight is really when, when it turned from a hobby into a job. Like, it's really what I love to do and in the beginning I always thought that yeah, this is a very special hobby and something you really cannot turn into a job. But then it turned out that you can actually. And Case King gave me the opportunity to do that and yeah, for me that was like really my highlight so far. Well, back then um, it was kind of new, not, not really new, but still kind of new, especially the extreme overclocking part and um, on exhibitions like CBIT, everybody was like, oh, wow, what are you doing? And LN2 cooling, this is amazing. And I think people were more kind of amazed by this. And by now, I think a lot of people are used to it. And if, if they see some results on news pages, they are like, okay, this is the same thing, just a different uh, hardware. So it's, it's kind of, people got kind of used to it. Also, I think the overclocking community like, got a little bit smaller, but the skill level raised a lot. Like uh, if you, back then, 2007, you just needed a, a CPU container, LN2, and that was it. You could just overclock and there was no, nothing else you actually needed. Uh, like not really engineering backgrounds and stuff like that. But today, uh, you need to have a lot of engineering background as well, like uh, electrical engineering, especially if you want to change VRM technology on, on, uh, on graphics cards and attach external power boards. There's nothing you can do without any uh, background knowledge. Well, if in the, in the, I think in the next five years, um, it's gonna stay the, yeah, it's gonna stay where it is now. I think it's the, the group will stay small. I think the, the like the real elite extreme overclockers, and um, I think it will stay kind of special, and it, it will not really grow. I have the feeling about that. Uh, the normal people will stay, the enthusiasts, they will still be interested in overclocking. Also, when there is new hardware, I'm sure, of the, I'm sure about that. But I kind of have the feeling that the extreme overclocking will not really like get really big. Yeah, I think the amount of overclocks will also roughly stay the same. I think the people who have been um, enthusiasts in the past will also stay in the future and will be interested in the same. But uh, I feel more and more because of, especially for, for gamers, the hardware requirements, they are getting lower and lower, especially for CPUs. You can run the same CPUs today, which you bought three years ago, it's still fine for a high-end system. Only the GPUs are really, really limited. By now, if you if you uh, play really high-end uh, games, so I think that affects a lot uh, how it works. Well, for normal overclockers, it's it's quite easy nowadays because all the hardware manufacturers they implemented a lot of features. You can just go to BIOS or use software, 
It's very easy if you just read some basic guides. It probably takes you like half an hour or an hour to get used to the, I say, basic overclocking. Extreme overclocking is a little bit more difficult to really compete on the top. You need a lot of time and also a lot of money, sadly. But you will have to buy high-end hardware. You need the cooling gear and you need um, all the LN2. So it's, it's a hard game to step into and also uh, very competitive. But if, you, if you're really willing to step into this, then it just needs a lot of time and passion and everybody can be first, that's true. Taiwan is an awesome country. I love to be here. It's, um, compared to especially Germany, um, it's, it's so different. The culture is completely different and especially the people. It's, when, when, you, when you come here the first time, you're really amazed by how friendly they are. Uh, I, it's, it's sad, but it's true. In Germany, um, people are really uh, in distance to each other and not really helpful always so serious <laughs> and uh, when you come here everybody's totally open friendly and everybody's helping you it's really amazing <laughs>